Hi, Adam here for Elm Tech and SketchUp in the UK. And today I'm going to give you a quick look and a quick demo of how we can use SketchUp in an interior design role. SketchUp is a fantastic launch pad to help you in visualizing and documenting your work. And in this short video, I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to import a 2D floor plan and make that into a workable 3D model within SketchUp. So first of all, I'm just going to import an image and this could be a PDF, it could be a JPEG, whatever. Depends on what type of floor plan you want to use as to how we're going to continue to work. But in my example here, I'm going to be using this rough hand drawn image that somebody's created of a space. So I'm going to import this in and I'm just going to pop this in the middle of my document. And we're going to zoom in here. So what we can see is we've got a little apartment very small, really big bed, tiny little kitchen area and a small bathroom area. Now, because in this image we haven't got any dimensions, we're not going to be able to draw totally accurately. One of the big benefits to SketchUp is that if we want to, we can draw super accurately. In fact, we can draw to a sub millimeter level of accuracy. Now, in order to make this a little bit more workable, we're going to choose something that is roughly a known entity. So I'm going to pick these kitchen units or this, this hob here and I'm going to measure it. And at the moment, as I just scaled it into the image, it's 0.14 meters wide, which is tiny. What we're going to do is we're going to tell SketchUp that this is actually 60 centimeters wide and we're going to ask it to scale everything in the model to match that. So here we go. Now we've got a 2D floor plan where these kitchen units are 60 centimeters and everything is relative to that. So if I pull out my tape measure, I can see my bed here is two meters six, quite a wide bed and one meter 85 long. So we can see the sofa, very small sofa seat there. And we can see the toilet area 63 centimeters. So about the width of a base base in there. So we've got a rough starting point to work with. Now we're going to basically draw out by hand our perimeter walls. And to do this, I'm just going to use the line tool. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start in a corner and quite simply drag around the perimeter wall of this, this floor plan here. What you'll see as I'm going around the cursor or the line that the cursor is drawing is either green for any vertical lines and red for any horizontal lines. I can move to any angle if I wish, but it will snap in at red or green. That makes it really nice and easy to draw nice, simple shapes like this. Now I'm just going to make that view x-ray so we can continue to see through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a bit of thickness from those walls there. Using the offset tool just here, I can actually choose how thick inwards I want to make my next set of lines. So I'm going to do this here again. This is quite a thin set of walls, 10 centimeters thick, according to this plan. Um, and we'll go with that there. So we've now got exterior walls, interior walls, and all we need to do is just fill in some of these partition walls now. So we're just going to draw these ones in by hand. Let's just zoom out a little. Uh, And we're just doing this really roughly because we are literally sketching uh, in SketchUp at this point. So I've done some there. We've got this wardrobe over here. Let's draw that in. It's a bit thinner than the outside wall. I'm not too concerned with accuracy at the moment. And what I think we need as well is some gaps for a door. So let's just draw that in there. I'm just going to erase those lines. Do the same for the wardrobe door here as well, which is very narrow. We've got another door over here for the balcony area, which I haven't drawn in actually. And then it looks like we've got a little window just in front of the bathroom sink, just here. Can't see any other windows in the plan. It's possibly all of them there. So let's, let's go with that. Now, if we look at this, we can see in a 3D space, still pretty flat. What we're going to do actually is we're going to raise those walls out of the ground. Now, that's really easy. We have a tool that can help us do that. This tool here, which Sketch is famous for, the push pull tool. I'm going to grab this. I'm just going to hover it over these walls. And you can see here it's kind of selected them, gone all dotty. 
and then we're going to pull it up to the desired height. Now we haven't got actual dimensions to use, so I'm going to use a kind of standard 2.4 meter wall height. So I'm just going to type in 2.4 M, press enter, it fills it in there. And then what we can do is just all the other walls, we just double click and it'll just repeat that height for all of these walls. So let's just do that. There we go. And another one there. And if we get rid of the X-ray, there we go. We can see now we've got every single wall in this model. So really, really straightforward to bring that uh, into a 3D space. We can continue to work on this if we wish. We might want to start drawing in some of the kitchen units. Or we may just want to leave this as a blank space. We may even want to head into the 3D warehouse, which is a really fantastic repository for things like chairs, pieces of furniture, kitchen utensils, anything we could think of, somebody may have made it. So if I've searched for chair here, I can see this uh, Mies van der Rohe Barcelona chair. I can load this straight into my model. And there we go. And I can maybe even start to position that and maybe plan some space a little bit. So really nice and simple. SketchUp for interior design.